In this video, we'll be playing PES 2019, PUBG and Asphalt 9 games and they will each be played for 20 minutes. For our gaming test, we'll start the phone at 100% right from the boot up so there is no app that would have been running. And I'll also use my trusty heat gun to show you real time temperatures before and after each gaming session. The aim of this video is to understand the general strength in that 4000 mAh battery and performance of the S4 as far as intense use is concerned. If you don't know about it yet, we're giving away the Infinix S4 like I said in my review video and the winner will be announced on my social media pages, Twitter and Instagram on the 27th of April. So make sure you're subscribed and if you haven't already, do hit that like button. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Before any game at all, as you can see, the screen of the S4 is 33.7 at the top and the bottom of the screen it's exactly 33. On the back, temperature stays at the 33 mark, 33.8 at the top and 34.6 at the bottom. So it's only the 33 mark on average, which if you compare to boiling water, which is 100 degrees, this is just at that low level. I specifically chose 20 minutes of gameplay, so we'll see how three games hold up for exactly an hour. I have a stopwatch to help me here and I think it's fair enough. Now this test might be a little bit harsher because I'm going to be screen recording as I'm playing. Thankfully, XOS has this very handy screen recorder and all you need to do is just swipe right from the edge of the device so you start recording your gameplay. Alright, so the first game we'll be playing is PUBG. As you can see here, PUBG doesn't allow me to change my graphic settings. This is the 720p display. So on here, I'm not expecting so much in terms of graphics and I'm going to be sticking to the medium settings. After a little over 20 minutes of gameplay, temperature rose from 33.8 to 42.7 which was noticeably hot and surprisingly it went down from 34.6 at the bottom of the back to 33.5. The upper part also rose from 33.7 to 41.1 and the lower part rose slightly from 33 to 36.2. The battery on the S4 went down by 7% to exactly 93%. Alright, so the next game is at fault 9. Just like the previous gaming review of the Huawei Y7 Prime, I also faced the problem of blocking the speaker, so I'm going to have to be using headphones to game. And just like PUBG's graphics, these graphics here were not so great. The graphics on the games were not very soothing to watch and the lag was quite noticeable. Even after a little over 20 minutes of gameplay, the lower part of the S4's back moved from 33.5 to 35.6 and then on the top it went from 42.7 to 44.7 which are both 2 degree increases, almost reaching 50% of boiling points. The top of the screen goes from 33.7 to 42.3 and the bottom of the screen is from 36.2 to 35.4. The top rises at an almost 10 degree increase, exactly 8.6 degrees due to the pressing and the holding of the controls that the game requires and this was quite noticeable in the hand too. Battery life however moved down from 93% to 89% so that's a 4% decrease which is fair. Last game of the bunch was PES 2019 and surprisingly again PES lets you choose the highest resolution of video quality just like I did in my previous gaming video and during gameplay I didn't notice any difference for some reason all my players were ghosts in this game i.e. there were no heads or no legs and it probably was because I updated it to the latest version but I absolutely did not enjoy my gaming experience at all and this was not even the fault of the S4. I still pulled through for 20 minutes though and I endured it and as far as temperature went, it went from 44.7 at the top of the back to 42.1 and from 35.6 to 35.3 which is a good thing I guess. And the screen stays the same at that 40s mark, moved from 42.3 to 40.4 and from 35.4 on the bottom to 33.3. Battery however went down by 6% to 83% and for an overview we started this gaming session with 100% and we moved all the way down to 83% in battery life for a 1 hour gaming session. Temperature went from the 30s to the 35s to 40s almost even getting to 50 degrees especially at the top and it was noticeably heated but I think that's because we also screen recorded as we were gaming. What did you guys think of this test? Do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching another gaming, heating and battery test review video. I'll see you guys in my next video.